Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing Oscars. Oscar is the common name given to fish with the scientific name Astronautus ocalatus, though it hasn't always been this way. Originally, they were classified as a marine species of fish, which is a little silly since they live natively in the Amazon River Basin, which is definitely freshwater. Oops. Of course, even today their scientific classification is up for debate, as it's thought that more species may exist. Let us know in the comments if you come across news of reclassification of this species. As we stated, Oscars are native to South America, and they prefer living in slow-moving waterways and swamps with hiding places like sunken logs. They have, however, been introduced to other areas of the world, either on purpose or by accident, likely by release of pet owners. They're limited to where they can live by water temperature, as they can't survive in water colder than 53 degrees. While it's not entirely certain what non-native Oscars may mean for native species, it's likely they could be a source of competition and predation for native fish. Also, Oscars are hardy creatures and can live in oxygen-depleted water systems, so they're kind of like the fish we discussed in our koi episode. When young, they're more speckly with bright orange and white bands and spots. As they get older, they tend to get darker, appearing deep green or almost black with less pronounced markings. Captive Oscars, however, have specifically been bred with more color variety and even different fin lengths. Oscars can also change color quickly when under stress. They'll become more pale, and it's believed this is to help reduce the outline of their body so they're more difficult to spot in an underwater environment. They also have an eye spot or spots, which are called ocelli, near the base of their tail. These spots confuse potential predators, leaving them unsure which end of the Oscar is actually the front. The ocelli are also important in Oscar courtship displays. Oscars are usually ready to mate by the time they reach four and a half inches in length, though they can grow to be longer than a foot. Both parents will construct a relatively flat nest in which a thousand or more eggs will be laid. During the three to four days incubation period, both the male and female will protect the developing eggs. When the young Oscars hatch, the parents will move them to a sandy hollow or pit where they'll stay under the protection of their parents for another week. They can live for at least a decade, with some individuals reaching 20 years of age. Though they're rather robust fish, Oscars are eaten by larger fish, birds, reptiles, and other large predators. They're also susceptible to parasites, and this is especially true for captive individuals. Oscar owners need to monitor the behavior of their Oscars to ensure they're acting normal and aren't sick. Apparently, this isn't difficult, though, since Oscar owners pretty universally say that they're personable fish and will even recognize their owners and can be taught to perform tricks. In the wild, Oscars eat smaller fish, insects, crustaceans, and snails. They have two sets of teeth. The first set are the teeth in their jaws, like you and me. They also have teeth in their throat, which might sound horrible, but these teeth actually help to process food. Still, I think that fact could be the beginnings of a bad horror movie. Oscars have also been the subjects of scientific studies, which include behaviors, swim bladders, and eyesight. In one study, it was shown that Oscars could regenerate partial eyesight after their optic nerves were cut. So they're pretty legit fish, even though they have throat teeth. For more facts on Oscars, please read through the links in the description. Give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let us know what you think of Oscars in the comments. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.